Welcome back, I'm Quentin, and today we're going to be doing the final part to text-based game in C++. Now, there, I do have bigger vision for this game, and I think that it could go a lot farther here, but there's just not enough interest in this game to, in this game series right now to really progress it further. So, this is really, is probably going to be the final part here, unless some of you guys really want to see more of this. So, the first things that we're going to be doing today is we're going to be adding some more minerals because right now we just got gold and silver and evidently there is a lot more resources out there so we're going to add some gems in there because who doesn't like gems you know little crystals diamonds and stuff so and then the other thing that we want to do I have a health system so right now we got health here but we're not really doing anything with the health like when if we take a look at the code down here we go down to the game over function and all that really does is kill your guy off. It doesn't take away any health points or anything like that. And you don't really lose your health points. So we got to get away that you can lose your health points. So we'll take a quick look at the game here. Compile and run it. We'll go on medium. Hit enter. We'll go into the mine. There we got our basic animations from last time. All right. So you get, we got silver here, two money and 24 supplies. So then, then you go to the town. You can sell your silver, which as you can see, message saying that you sold your silver goes way too fast and then the final thing is is buying your supplies once again message goes way too fast so we'll just want to and of course we got the main menu function which right there sends us back to main menu so we we'll want to exit out of that but the first thing to do is to give this a little bit of time here because otherwise it's just going too fast so we'll just add a little sleep in here and give it 1000 and we'll do the same thing for silver so then sleep uh 1000 is going to go by pretty quick so so now now that we've fixed that problem that's going to be way nicer um and supplies right you want to go see out see out you've bought five supplies all right so now we'll give that an end line so then that ends that statement and then we'll give it a sleep value here right 1000 i found 1000 is just about the perfect time for these slower messages otherwise it, it either takes too long or goes too quick so what for me at, at least anyways all right so now that that's fixed we're going to want to add the gems so we'll go into the integer statement here and we'll just add gems before we'll actually just add it right at the end here so then after supplies we'll add gems and then we'll go down here we'll set gems as a value that equals zero semicolon and then we're going to go down to to the mining function so right now we've got a random number zero to a hundred so out of this we're going to want to take some of these away for the gems so i think the best thing to do would be to say if a we'll say is greater than well let's say 99 and a is less than 101 then we'll give it the a system CLS. That way we clear the screen of everything before it. And then we hit we enter there. And then so then the next thing that we want to do is is do the C out thing again. So then we want to type you've found one gem. Now of course we're going to add some animations here. Go C out and then we'll kind of go we'll let this line remain empty and then we'll go on to the next one in that line. Alright, so now we're going to we're just the top across the top. We're just going to use ones here. We'll kind of make it into a diamond shape. All right, and then another end line statement. See how this might take a minute or two. We've almost got her. And one, oop, line. See how, and then for the final line. All right. So now the next thing that we want to do is move this statement a little bit lower. So we'll say 98. This way. It kind of overlaps a little bit so you kind of got one on each side so this will kind of this will kind of do nicely now we're probably not going to see this gem here show up too much you rarely see so then the next thing that we want to do is scroll right back up to the top here um we're going to take a look right right to the store function so then we'll we'll take out this and and replace it with a semicolon and at the end of silver we'll type and three four gems all right once again take out that and and plus uh and put one of those there and then type and space bar and then do our little thing again and gems and then another space bar two more 
less than symbols, and then we we'll type gems. All right, so then here we're going to want to say similar thing to what what we said with the uh, silver and gold. So we want to say if user equal equals quotations three, and we want to end that quotation right there. And gems is greater than zero. Then we want to say see out you've sold one gem. So then we want to end that with an end line little duber there. And then we want to say gems minus equals one. And then we want to say money plus equals, we'll give it 10 for every one. And then we'll say sleep once again, 1000. Now, the one thing that I just forgot to do was in the mining function, which we'll go back down to, I forgot to include the gems plus statement. So we go to gems here and then we go plus plus or oops, plus plus or we can do gems plus equals one. Either way, it adds it by one. All right. So now that we've got the gems out of the way, so now the last thing that we're going to do today is we're going to work on the die function. So instead of just running game over, sure, we're going to run game over, but we're going to run an if loop. So in the void die statement, we'll say if HP is greater than one, hit enter, scrolly brackets, then we say, we're going to say if HP is greater than two, because it goes back one. So this way, when it hits zero, it's it's going to be a, a die. So then, so then we'll say HP minus minus, so then that'll minus one HP when you die. And then you say C out, and then we'll say you've lost one health left. And then leave some dots at the end of there, and then we'll end that with a end line. And then we'll say we'll have another sleep function here again. And once again, 1000. The other thing that we want to do is if HP, we want to say if HP is less than one, then we enter some scrolly brackets here. We want to take the second scrolly bracket out and then tab both of these just so that the code's a little easier to read. And we'll finish that scrolly bracket off. Now, once again, we're going to add a little sleep function here. Sleep 1000. All right, so now we've got a die function here. We still don't have a function to increasing the health let. So we want to go back up to town here. All right, so then right here we can buy supplies so now we, will, we want to boost if user equals three to if user equals four instead of, and then we'll say if because we're, we're going to be adding another statement here the three key is going to become the buy healthlet key so then we say if user equal equals three then we'll hit enter here and then we'll go goal we'll say that we'll say mo money minus equal three for for every health that you you spend three gold so you hit enter and then you press type s hp plus plus all right so then dial add your health by one all right so then you want to say and then you want to see out and say you've purchased one health lit all right so then we want that once again we want this message to this to stay there for a second so we type sleep 1000 and there you go we've got a health system that works so we're going to wanna we'll change this to press 4 because it's now press 4 and then we'll add another forward slash end statement for a new line statement we're going to say press 3 to buy health lets all right so now we'll compile and run this and then everything should be running all right so then we'll go with medium difficulty so we'll hit the mine first, see if we can get a little bit of gold here or something. Oh, right, you found silver. So then we'll quickly go to town. We'll sell our silver. What the two? Oop, one. Right, you have one, one silver and one gems. This should be ending here though. We're going to change these values here. If user equals one for gold, two for silver, and three for gems, we're going to change these to letters so that the program doesn't get confused. So we'll change this um, gold to key, to G, silver to NS, and we'll say D for gems, as in D as in diamonds. 
So then we'll change, the, we gotta change these values up here. So we change that G, not A. So G, S, and D. So we'll compile and run this. Just make sure that there's no more errors. We've got, ooh, it doesn't say our health. All right, so we gotta add our health here. So we're gonna wanna go down to the to the menu um, class here. You have, we'll start up, actually start off with health. So I add this and then go HP and then We'll add a little and in here and all right. So now we're running it, compile and run that again. We'll go with, we'll go with easy because easy. You get a lot more gold. So then we'll just go to town and we'll buy some health. Oop, 10. We have, don't have health here. So we want to add hell. Let's all right. Now compile and run it. Now it should all be good. So you have 10 health. Let's zero gold, zero silver, five money and 50 supplies. We're missing our gems just before gold. We're going one type gems and then we'll want to do dupe dupe and then we'll type gems and and gold right we just compile and run that <sighs> um 155 uh, expects oh right right we got can't forget those um less than symbols so then pile and run that and she should be good to go she'll be what happened you bought 50 you purchased one health and then it sends you there all right so we evidently Aren't going to want to have three for our healthlets. We'll actually change that to H. And we'll say H to buy healthlets. Oh, what? That can't be right. Let me see. Oh, main menu is number three. Where is main menu? Oh, down here. So this is interfering as well. Okay, so we'll change this three to an H. And we'll change the three up here for um, press three to buy healthlets. We'll change that to an H because apparently... It's messing with stuff. All right, so that should be all good. To go back to the town, press H to buy healthlets. We purchased one healthlet. We've got six healthlets. I accidentally went to medium and pulse there, and we start off with five. We have six right now, but oh, we're losing money again. Right, right, right. So my bad. I forgot about doing that. We want to add an and statement here, and money is greater than three. All right, so now we compile and run that. There, now it should be bug free. All right, we'll go with easy. So we have 10 health lets straight across. All right, go to the town. We type H for to buy another health let. You purchase one health let. And we got 11 health lets, all right. And we do not appear to be going into the hole. We'll go into town and yeah. So we're not spending any more money than what we actually have. We're gonna recap on the code here. So we've got our includes here. We've got our using namespace STD, our void, all of our voids here and our integers there. Our string user, here's our main class here. This just basically sets us up for the rest of the classes. Here's our town class, very straightforward. Um, here's our mine class. We got submenus in here and everything, subdirectories. And then we've got our, our main class, uh, I mean our mining class here where our main animations occur and then we've got our menu class here and our random class here which is for the mining because when you're actually mining this decides which resources you get we got our die function which now you have to lose all your health lets to die and we've got our game over class so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you like what we do then feel free to subscribe we appreciate every subscriber and i'll be seeing you guys in the next video Hopefully right where we do C squared equals A squared plus B squared. Until then, Quinn and out.